Good morning, friends. It's Pastor John. It's so great to see you this morning, Wednesday morning, or whenever you're getting a chance to watch this. I hope that Wednesday morning prayer and our Sunday morning services, I hope that those are times that really help you to stay sane and stay grounded in these challenging times. One of the things I like to do in Wednesday prayer is to introduce you to someone who um, is writing in prayers or in the meditative tradition, and perhaps you haven't heard of them, and maybe you can take advantage of these resources at some point. So the one I'm going to share this morning is um, written by John Philip Newell. The book is called Praying with the Earth, a prayer book for peace, and it has prayers for morning and evening for every day of the week. We'll be going through the one for Wednesday morning. John Philip Newell is a poet. He's a scholar. He's also ordained in the Church of Scotland, and he is recognized around the world for his work in Celtic spirituality. Uh, years ago, I met him at a conference, and uh, it was um, it was interesting. Uh, you can check for yourself. I think that John Philip Newell and I are uh, probably doppelgangers. So with that, we will begin Wednesday morning prayer. There will be some times of silence or some times for pauses, and I invite you to join me in those times as well. Hear these words from Matthew's Gospel, from the Beatitudes. Blessed are those who hunger for earth's oneness, for they will be satisfied. Let us pray. All things come from you, O God, and to you we return. All things emerge in your great river of life, and into you we vanish again. At the beginning of this day, we wake, not as separate streams, but as countless currents in a single flow, the flow of this day's dawning, the flow of this day's delight, the flow of this day's sorrows, your flow, O God, in the twistings and turnings of this new day invite you now for a moment to be still and to be aware. There are three scripture readings from three different Abrahamic traditions, from Jewish scriptures, Christian scriptures, and then from Muslim scriptures. So first, from the Psalms. Sing to God a new song. Sing to God all the earth. From Matthew's Gospel, in everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. And from the Quran, whoever saves a human life shall be regarded as though they had saved all humankind. Please join me in silence. Let us pray for the life of the world. All things are born of you, O God. We carry within us your light and your life. In the mystery of matter 
and deep in the cells of our souls are your longings for oneness. The oneness of the universe, vast and vibrating with the sound of its beginning. The oneness of the earth, greening and teeming as a single body. The oneness of the human soul, a sacred countenance in infinite form. Grant us your longings for oneness, O God, amidst life's glorious multiplicities. Now let's join in a time of silence as we pray for peace, peace in our own world, in our relationships and families, peace in our community and peace in the nation and in the earth. Let's pray. Amen. And now receive this prayer of blessing. Blessings on the day, born of night. Blessings on the earth, wedded to heaven. Blessings on the creatures, adored by angels. Blessings on our bodies, alive with spirit. Blessings on our minds, filled with dreams. Blessings on our hearts opened by love. Blessings, blessings, blessings. May they be yours today, my friends. Amen and amen.